there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Zoo Quest. <laughs> this should be Wednesday's episode, I think. And I did a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff to get this episode ready. I already feel like I did a whole episode's worth of stuff before I even started recording. All right, so let's take a look in our inventory. So I got a few of the flowering oak leaves so we could continue doing our cottage core business and making everything look overgrown, but that's not nearly enough. We're gonna definitely have to get more, but I wanted to get this episode started, so I couldn't wait any longer. I also got our tropical gardens picked up from spreading because my goodness, they spread so fast. I'm thinking 45 is gonna be plenty to get the crops we need out of it. Also, in our backpack, not in our backpack I lied in our chest over here <laughs> I went ahead and I got a whole bunch of gardens ready this is also stuff that I collected for our pond because we're gonna try and make the pond for our turtle either today in this episode or in the next episode I haven't decided it depends on how everything goes um, but I did save five of each of the ones that we have just in case we didn't get enough of a certain crop or um, we needed more. Oh my gosh, that's the wrong button! I'm not hitting any of the right buttons today. There we go. Oh, I had more than I thought. Okay, so first... Oh goodness, voice crack. <laughs> so first order of business is we're going to go ahead and start breaking these because we don't even know what food is in them. But now that we have a whole kitchen worth of storage, we might as well get all the food we can and start cooking up those fancy meals to help our nutrition bar go up. All right, let's do this. Okay, so right away, I see that most of the tropical garden was actually seasoning stuff, which is great because we have a spice rack that we can put it all in. I think... That should be everything. I don't see anything that's less than five, which is good. At some point um, behind the scenes in one of the episodes, I'm gonna go through all of the Pam stuff that we've collected and try and get, uh, I think five seeds from each is pretty safe because you can turn all of these into seeds. Okay, let's put our fruit away and get our seasonings put away too. All right, so I put all of those away. So next is the Saki Garden. Woo, that was a lot. Okay, now let's get those put away. Okay, friends, it's time for the kitchen tour. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the way I've organized it, we've got the trash can. I'm pretty sure that's evil fruit and gives me wither, so that's why it's in there. Mushrooms are going to go here. Let's see. I've got special treats here. So this is a special super rare uh, Choco Crafts treat that you can give to a Chocobo. So I have that in there. This one's empty, which is great because we could <laughs> potentially have some pour over from some of these. Here's our fruit. So that's probably what this is going to be used for is our extra fruit because our fruit basket is already completely full. Here are our vegetables. It's a completely full one. And then we've got pour over into here. Look at all that fruit. Oh my gosh. We have our grain in here and we've got our nuts up here. Or no. Uh oh. I mixed grain. Here's our nuts up here. Our grain is down here. Okay, and then here's our refrigerator. I put lettuce in the fridge because I think lettuce should go in the fridge. But we've got our melon slices, our cantaloupe, all of our meat will go in here as well as our eggs if we remember to get them from the crate over there. And then our spice rack. So these are all of the spices that I put up here. We probably have more spices than that, but for now that's pretty full and we'll just leave it like that. So here's our fully stocked kitchen for the boo. It's so great. Ah, <laughs> uh, speaking of eggs though, we should probably go check on our little ladies and how they've been doing up here. Hello ladies, how are you? Oh my goodness, your nests are full and you gave me feathers. I appreciate it. Keep doing your best ladies. I'm so proud of you. Let's see how they're doing on, oh no! 
Uh oh, it looks like they've run out of food. So we're gonna go get them some seed and see if we can't refill their water as well. Although their water is still got some in it. So, okay, let's take the eggs out of here. And I'm gonna get them some seed. Okay, here you are ladies. I'm very sorry about that. There you go. Oh, oh, we made an achievement. Plymouth Rock. Okay, so I guess that means that we've uh, made an advancement with them, so I guess they're tamed now? I'm not 100% sure how that works, but okay! Alright, ladies, stay in there. Don't get lost. <laughs> I can't protect you if you get out of your coop. Well, that was really cool. I guess if you feed the Animania animals, you make an advancement per animal that you feed, which is uh, pretty helpful to know, actually. So now that the kitchen is done, we're going to move on to the next thing on my list and that is the notice board. So I kind of picked an area where we're going to put it and hopefully we actually use the notice board, but it's to put up the priority of what we're working on right now so that we can I can change it before every episode and we can try and work on getting everything on the notice board done within that week's worth of episodes. That would be amazing because it's got six signs on it, so if we can do two signs per day, I would say that is a good goal to have. I mean, obviously things come up, like we had Monday, which was the whole mining day, and it literally took all the time, all of the time. <laughs> okay, so let's get started on this notice board. the top <gasps> you guys it looks so good okay so there is our notice board I need to make a few more signs oh. so that's how it's gonna go and they're gonna go all the way across on both sides so then what we can do is we can pick the three things that we're gonna do in the next episode but for now I think I'm just gonna place these like so and then of course, we need just a touch of detail. Oop. Let's do it this way. You gonna show me? Perfect. Come on. You let me put it on top before. Is it because we're too close? I guess so. So finicky, these things. <gasps> How dare you? I will make this work. There we go. <laughs> I was determined. And we're gonna place this up here to give us a little bit of light. Like that. And then this will go Ah. Uh. Mmm. You guys, I lost the this is a problem. Okay, hold on. There we go. There it is. Finally, being so stubborn. That is ridiculous how stubborn that was. But there it is. So you'll see this right as you run up and we'll have the notice board with everything that we need on it. So let's go ahead and add maybe just a little bit of floral stuff here and there and then we'll be done with this. Like, done done.
and it looks so good. I love this so much. Okay, so hopefully we actually utilize it. That's kind of the goal. <laughs> But now that we have that decorated, I'm really, really pumped to do the pathway to our house. I haven't decided if I want to do just like a dirt path where you use the shovel and make it all shovely pretty. Ooh, hold on. I just realized that I could do something. Give me this. Ooh, that color clash is so, so bad. Okay. Well, we are gonna put pots there, but not the oak pots. Nope, that would look terrible. Porch parrot, you kind of scare me with all of your noises. Okay, so now that we've gotten all of those things done, I think we could probably look at our list and check off some things. Hello, baby. Hello. Okay, so we haven't finished the boo yet, but we finished the walls. The walls are done. The ceiling is done. The living room is not done. The kitchen is done other than that one little uh, thing in the corner I wanted to put, the hanging plant, but it's truly cosmetic. Everything that is functional in the kitchen is done. All right, we haven't done the office or the bedroom yet. And then Faye and Hubby will come after we're done building. Okay, let's see. We haven't done the cellar or the attic yet. I mean, the attic's ready for stuff, but we haven't moved everything. We did make the terrarium for the hermit crab, but I'm not gonna check that off because I wanna make its little hidey cave, and we haven't done that yet. It looks like, though, that I didn't actually put the notice board on this. So we're gonna write on here so that we actually get credit. Notice board. Done. All we have to do is write our task on it. <laughs> I have this one hair that just wants to stick out and be different. Okay. Wow, so we're actually checking some stuff off. This is so great. Okay, I'm gonna stick this back on our little wall here since we're still working on that. It's so good to see stuff get checked off though. I actually feel like we're doing stuff. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so next what I wanna do is I am going to work on the pond, I think. By the way, this tree grew naturally huge and I think I'm just gonna leave it. It looks so pretty! I thought maybe we could even figure out how to hang lanterns from it or something, but it's so big, I didn't wanna take it away from my little chickens. So we're probably, we're probably just gonna leave it. But now I'm really encouraged and wanna do our little waterfall into the pond over there. So I think I might fill up on some water, get a snack, and then start working on that.
that took a long time. I ended up using all of my wetlands plants and everything looks pretty good. I feel like some of it just kind of got scattered about, but it looks really natural, very cottage quarry. I'm hoping that next time we'll be able to add maybe some fencing somehow around this because if we just plop our turtle in here right now, it'll just wander off. So it doesn't really have a safe place for it to be. Same thing when we add ducks eventually, I would love to add some ducks into this pond, but to keep them kind of in the area, we're gonna have to add some kind of fencing or barrier or something to keep them near the water. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I got the lily pads in here. Um, we've got the uh, dynamic surroundings mod is making this look or sound very much like a pond, but it also looks really good too, so. I love it! I love that we can hop across the lily pads and then, oh, I did a little secret thing. Okay, so let's hop in here. Look, I made little hidden nests so when we do eventually get some duckies in here, they'll have a really safe area to lay their eggs and they'll be super, super cute. We'll be able to collect those eggs too and hopefully get more ducks so that we can scatter them all around the zoo at some point. Okay, so that actually is probably over, <laughs> over time today, but that's all the time I have for this episode, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got quite a bit done. We got the pond somewhat done. We got the notice board done. We are really making waves in our plans to bring the zoo to life. So if you liked this video, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe if you haven't already to join our wonderful family. Ring the bell to get notifications of when I post zoo quests. Check out the whole playlist. If you're just coming into this episode now and you haven't seen the other ones, start from the beginning. I'll encourage you because you'll get to see how we went from nothing to having a boo almost completed, our base of operations almost done, having our chicken coop, and oh, hopefully we'll get to work on the mine soon. I actually want to make it look really cool so every time we go into it, it actually looks like we're going to work in the mine. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.